Camper Profiler Tones and Talks. Hmm. A new episode of That Tone Show with Thomas Dill. Here's Thomas again, of course. Thanks for being here with us. Let us know what was your approach and uh, what are the tones? To be honest, it's just the uh, featured, uh, the, the, the ionosphere reverb is just the one effect that's featured in this episode. <laughs> and uh, the idea behind that is um, just creating a lush ambient reverb sound something uh with that can be a pad under something or just underscore for movie of whatever and uh i just play it three notes three notes of uh the video lost in space And this is this is the time when when the producer says, "Okay, now it sounds expensive." <laughs> um, okay, so to make this thing expensive, there is uh, not a lot to do. I always start from scratch, turn every effect off, and share my rig manager screen. Here we are. So we have the amp profile. And again, as in episode one, we have a uh, Ballen Howell Filmo from the rig pack from Bert Möllendijk. Um That film projector again? Ah, cool. <laughs> movie project, yeah. Uh, Filmo Crunch. Here we are. Mm -hmm. If you want to rebuild that rig, take this one. And if you want to make some great blues sounds, Take this one too. <laughs> But, uh, this is how it sounds. Oh, wait a minute. And uh, with a humbucker. That's that. an incredible tone. I mean, uh, yeah. uh, I was so awed by that uh, in the first episode uh, already. Uh, I didn't realize that because these things look a little bit like, you know, old. Uh, old radios or music boxes yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, it's really that uh, chunky um, slightly um, really, really uh, treble boosted really small Marshall combo yeah, yeah. type of sound but gritty idea yeah. but uh, very dynamic so uh -huh. to that <laughs> Uh, a, a dirty clean tone on the on the neck pickup which, which is a single coil pickup here and uh, this is the starting point for the sound mm -hmm. and um, I turn back the volume a little bit to get a more cleaner tone the volume of the guitar or uh, the, the volume, volume of the guitar uh -huh. sorry uh -huh. and then uh, there is a noise gate which is on um but it's uh, it was in the in the original profile so that has no um thing to the sound the studio eq i use to to cut out the high frequencies mm -hmm. high cut is at eight uh, 8k mm -hmm. hertz, and then the first effect which uh, starts is the chorus mm -hmm. the chorus turn on the chorus <laughs> It's, it's uh, a real subtle chorus. Uh, mix level is at 64% and mm -hmm. uh, rate and depth in the middle about. Just uh, listen to the difference first without the chorus. With the chorus. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, Uh, important to, to listen in stereo, so uh, with headphones or stereo speakers, because the chorus is in stereo. Mm -hmm. 
Then, at the last, at the reverb module, I have a natural reverb. It's a big hall reverb. <laughs> Just to have a normal reverb, because uh, I don't like playing um, sounds or profiles with, without a reverb. So it's, uh, the reverb gives me a little bit of a three-dimensional sound. And I always use one particular reverb, reverb at the end of the signal chain. Mm -hmm. and Which one is that? Part, pardon? Which one is that? Uh, you have one, 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 pre one preset you always use to give it a little bit more of a room? Um, I, I have one natural reverb preset made. This is just uh, the small room. Mm -hmm. Um, it's about room size. I think it's on, on, on five and, uh, about two seconds decay time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, just to give it a bit. Yeah. The, the, the studio recording room, I call it mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. sometimes, uh, when, when the, uh, sound should be a bit bigger, I take a bigger reverb. Mm -hmm. So that's, and I record of course, with these reverbs. Um, I'm not the guy to uh, let everything reverb delay out. No, I record it. And then special sound, ionosphere reverb comes in. Mm -hmm. And this is the one who creates the music. So the music, uh, the, the chords. I have um, three types of effects, uh, three categories for, for effects. So the first category, category is the normal effect. So that means uh, overdrive of uh, reverb, which uh, creates a room or something like that, the organic effect. Mm -hmm. Second effects are the effects that you really hear, like a chorus of uh, a phaser or something like that, that add a specific sound to the uh, things you play. And the third thing is the musical effects. So uh, like in the episode one, uh, the melody harmonic delay is a musical effect because uh, I play one thing and the effect plays another thing and I make music with these effects. Mm -hmm. and the ionosphere reverb is a bit the same is a musical effect because um, it has a very, very, uh, very long decay time. It's a normal reverb. Mm -hmm. I just play one note. Mm -hmm. Decay time is about 16 seconds and there's an attack time uh, at nearly one second. So that means that the reverb kicks in very late, mm -hmm. one second after I played the note. And that's crucial for that because I play some notes and then let the uh, reverb take over and doing some special things. And the special things are here, voice one and voice two pitch it's a uh, pitch to seven. So the reverb gives me a perfect fifth to the note that I'm playing. I'm playing the note once again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you hear the, the, the fifth are going on and on and uh, it's like stacking those fifth. So when I turn the delay, uh, the, the delay, the reverb off, you get one note. The next note, next, mm -hmm. and so on. And you get in those, in this uh, reverb cloud, uh, different harmonics and, and different chords played just in the background. And that's uh, the musical thing. And so I play just major chords in that episode. Wait a minute. I change the screen. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just playing E major. Mm -hmm. And A major. And let the reverb do all the spacey ad additional notes and everything. And this is how it sounds like.
and you can get some tension, of course. Now I'm playing really nice uh, notes which uh, fit together, E and A. When, when you change, in the, in the middle I change to G. And that's then uh, in, in the uh, reverb cloud, there's some disharmonic coming up. So when you play the A at first, the sound I love the sound it's uh, just uh, playing a few notes and uh, and you're happy with the tone and and playing and it's important to play less but you because of the sound that that sounds that good uh, you like to play less because you want to hear that chords that are created in the background so this is uh, finally it for for the ionosphere reverb if you like to play some pad sounds or something like that use that reverb another thing uh, you can do is just set the mix level very high if you like for recording sometimes having some some uh space in the in the higher frequencies just set the mix level i do that at 100 percent wet and play something. Or just play one note. And you have a nice yeah. high frequency pad yeah, yeah yeah to open for the chorus rec recording at the chorus uh, to get get this high frequency pad uh, which is normally played by a keyboard player yeah and when i hear this uh, you know i i get always triggered uh to uh, uh um, into music by this and and i hear this I don't know if uh, if uh, this translates, but uh, um, there are this. Um, I think it started with the Nordic movies and TV shows and stuff like that. They very often had this uh, uh, theme melody. You know, very often a female th uh, a singer with a, a very breathy voice mm -hmm. and and just some keyboard pads and and some mm -hmm. very relaxed beats and stuff like that and that's what 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 I could hear on on top of this yeah, you know yeah. the the breathy voice of uh, uh, um female singer coming uh, uh uh on top of this and and then uh, a slow beat setting in and you know the camera is showing uh, cold icy <laughs> uh, landscapes and stuff like this a, a lot in 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 the band playing with a band with with a songwriter mm -hmm. and just adding some atmospheres it's totally great it turns out that he started he's playing acoustic guitar and he mm -hmm. started using those reverbs on his acoustic guitar too because okay. he wow. the sound okay. so much <laughs> and uh yeah it's it's great to have it underneath and um it doesn't uh disturb the sound it's just because it's so high frequency stuff and uh, you get, of course, these tension notes, mm -hmm. but they don't uh, sound like you 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 play uh, some 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 weird uh, chord stuff or something like that. It's just mm -hmm. in, the, in the air somewhere in the higher frequencies. So it's great to have these uh, ionosphere reverb. Yes, amazing. And uh, yeah, again, um, people try this at home. Um, Check out uh, uh, the settings uh, which are um, available on the screens during the videos. Just stop. And uh, at this point, again, um, um, I don't want to forget 
to mention that uh, these rigs are not available yet for download. <laughs> and we are uh, uh, thinking about that. Um, so let us know if you uh, are happy with uh, the possibility to, you know, see the parameters and, and rebuild uh, the tones for yourself and maybe be uh, inspired while doing this because you would come up with on the way to the final result uh, uh, with uh, you will visit will be visited by some tones that uh, might take you uh, completely uh, in a different direction which would be great as well um, or if it's uh, easier to uh, just download the rig and and have the parameters all available when you look at it in the rig manager as well um, that we uh, that's what we want would like to know still from you guys out there and uh, maybe so also Trump, feedback what you're doing with this thomas sorry uh yeah. one one advice uh on that i will share the screen again for the rig manager um <clears throat> just take the bell and howell uh filmo and then mm -hmm. go to the reverb module and uh, search for ionosphere reverb and then you get all these presets and i think i started mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from one of them because uh with a uh, <clears throat> with those reverb and delay settings i always start from a preset mm -hmm. i don't uh, because they to be honest they are great <laughs> and uh, then i start get inspired by those uh, settings and adjust a little bit starting at the mix level starting at the decay time and then all, i'm almost done and then start playing cool yeah and what's better than uh, be inspired to to play by 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 some tones yeah yeah awesome yeah thank you so much uh, for some insights into this and uh, yeah, putting our attention towards uh, uh, these uh, presets that that are available because very often uh, I think uh, they are overseen and uh, I usually start from scratch. But uh, there are these amazing presets and it definitely makes sense to just uh, check them out and um, see where they would take you. Yeah. And um, yeah, again. Um, let us know what you think, what you would like to know, and um, we will see each other next time and hear each other next time when we are looking at um, episode three of that tone show uh, that Thomas created. And um, for now, uh, thanks a lot for listening. Thanks a lot to Thomas for creating these videos, coming up with the music for it and uh, um, showcasing uh, these amazing tones to us. Bye. Till next. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take care.